Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the C++ series. We're done with the control flow for now, and um, we'll, we're going to be using them obviously in the future with our programs, but we're done learning you know, the basic forms of control flow, like if statements, while loops, and loops and stuff like that, switch statements. Uh, but real quick before we move on to the next thing, the you know functions and stuff like that, we're going to go over the logical operators, which are very useful for your conditions, so you can make even more complex conditions than, than you normally can. You can combine con just conditions together and stuff like that, okay? So there's three types of logical operators. So first we have the not operator, not, and then after that we have the and operator, so double and symbol. Uh, that's called and and then finally we have the or operator which is these two little things here and if you want to put one of these it's above your enter key so do shift and then press that key and then it puts one of those so double that and that's the or operator not and and or are the three logical operators that we can do to make complex conditions okay so let me show you the example of the first one that's called the not operator so oops we don't need that let's make a new uh, variable here just for testing purposes we're going to set it equal to 100, okay, and we're going to have if statement here, and we're going to say variable 1 is equal to 100, right? So if variable 1 is equal to 100, which it is, it's going to run this piece of code here. So we're going to say um, variable is equal to 100, okay, in mind, just like that, and let's try running this to see what we get. We should get variable is equal to 100, because it is, obviously, and so yeah, it says variable is equal to 100. So we can also do something like this, maybe we could say variable 1 is bigger than 100, and we know that it's not bigger than 100, it's equal to 100. So let's set it to something like uh, 1000, okay? 1000 is obviously bigger than 100, so we know that this is going to print out, obviously. So now I'm going to show you the not operator. And so what we need to do first is surround this by parentheses, it's kind of like order of operations, we need the parentheses so it knows where or it knows you know what expression to put it on. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, we just need parentheses. And so all we gotta do is put the not operator, the exclamation point in front of that parentheses in the expression here. This is an expression. So we're gonna put that in front of there. And so what this is gonna do is basically take this condition, whatever this equals, if it's true or false, and give you the opposite. So this is the not operator, it's basically for finding the opposite condition. So currently 1000 is indeed bigger than 100, so that's gonna be true by itself, but with the not operator, this whole thing is gonna be now equal to false. So this, so this piece of code should not execute anymore because it's the opposite now, it's false instead of true even though 1000 is bigger than 100. As you can see here, it prints in nothing, okay? So that's very simple, that's how you do the not operator. But yeah, let's just uh, go on to the and operator now. The on and you might have seen this in math at some point, this is very uh, simple. So the and operator is basically when you wanna have two conditions, and or two or more actually, you can have as many as you want, but it's for having multiple conditions, and the and operator is set up in such a way that you have to, all the conditions have to be true for it to run the if statement or whatever you know you're trying to use the condition for so let me just show you so let's do something like this let's have if variable 1 is equal to 1000 so if it's equal, if it's equal to 1000 and variable 1 is bigger than 100 okay so this line or let's put something in here first before I explain that let's say both conditions were satisfied okay and I put this because for a and a Whenever you're working with AND operators, both of these conditions, this condition and this condition, both have to be true for this whole thing to be true, okay? So they are true currently because it's 1000 and then 1000 is bigger than 100, so they are both true. So if we run this, this should print out here, okay? Let's see here, and... Yeah, so it says both conditions were satisfied because they're both true. So let's change this to something else, let's change it to um, 999. So basically what that is going to do, this one's not like... This one's going to be false now because 999 is not equal to 1000, but this one's still going to be true because 999 is indeed bigger than 100. So let's see what happens when we run this. And nothing happens because this is never going to run because this is the whole thing is not true. Part of it may be true, but the whole thing is not true because for the AND operator, both of them must be true. Or if you're having a third one, for example, if you want to have a third one, that all three of them have to be true for this if statement to run, okay? That's just simply how that works. And so now, finally, we have the OR statement, which is very similar to the AND statement, ex except that only one of them have to be true. Both of them can be true, but at least one has to be true for the whole thing to be true, okay? So let me just show you an example. So we'll do string name is equal to, or we'll not assign it. We'll say C out, give us a name. Like that and we'll ask for the name here so once they give us a name let's check and see 
what the name they put in there. So we'll do name is equal to Bobby. So if the name they entered is equal to Bobby, that will be true. And then we'll have an and operator here. I mean, or. So we're going to put or name is equal to Jerry. Okay. And so what. And then we're going to put some code here. I mean, yeah, we'll put some code here. We'll say you have chose one of the special names. Okay. So if they put any of these names, any of these two names within the input statement here, that means that this will all be executed because only one of these have, have to be true for this to execute. So let's try this out. So it says give us a name and we're going to say, um, let's just make up a name that's not one of these to see if this works. So we'll do something like that and then nothing happens, right? So now let's do Jerry to see if that works. So Jerry. And now it says you have chose one of the special names. So that is because only one of them have to be true, right? Pretty cool, pretty simple. And so now let me show you. So those are the three logical operators. They're very simple. Just of course, whenever the not operator, that's for finding the opposite condition. And then you have the and operator, which is for combining conditions where both of them have to be true. And then you have the or operator, which is also for kind of combining them or only one of them have to be true, okay? If you have multiple conditions. So very simple, but let me show you one more example where it gets pretty complex, okay? So we're gonna ask for the age this time also. So int age, and we'll say, um, give us your age in line. Let's put a space here, okay? So ask um, after we ask for their age, let's get the input, and we'll say if, okay, and it's gonna get pretty complex here. So we're gonna say, um, let's get the name that we just asked for. So let's get rid of this here. Okay. So let's get the name. And it, um, let's say um, if name is equal to is equal to Cody, or if name is equal to Bob then this will execute, right? But let's add a third condition. Let's make it even more crazy. So what we need to do here um, is surround this by parentheses, just as an order of operations type thing. And so now let's add something else. We'll do and age is, let's put this by, you don't have to put this in parentheses, I don't think, but let's ju just do that. So that's just for grouping uh, conditions, by the way, if, you know, if that doesn't make sense to you. So and if age is greater than 18, so first let's put something here before I explain that. We'll say see out you met the requirements in line. And then we'll have a else statement here. See out wrong info. Okay. Alright, so the way this works is you're gonna have a thing asking you for your name and age. And if one of the names is equal to either Cody or Bob, this whole thing will execute to true. But then we have one more condition to satisfy because this is an and statement. So both of these have to be true. So only one of these have to be true when it comes to the or statement. But as a total, this whole thing has to be true, you know, if one of the names are found because we have an and statement here. And so we also need this one to be true because it's an and statement. They both have to be true. So think of this as one statement because it's grouped by parentheses. And think of this as one statement because it's grouped by parentheses, even though it is one statement. And so that's why we put the and in, in the middle. And so this one has to be true also. So the age has to be bigger than 18. And so let's try this out. Okay. So give us a name. We'll say Bob. So that's true. That means that this whole thing is now going to be true. And now let's give the age lower than 18. And then it says wrong info. Because of course with the and statement, they both have to be true. So let's try again. We'll say Cody. And then we'll say a big number here. It says you met the requirements because of course we satisfied all the conditions that we need we needed to satisfy for the if statement. Okay. So this is a very simple concept, I hope. Just you know the simple logical operators I taught you. So you have the NAND and the AND and the OR operators. So if you have any questions about these operators, you can ask in the comment section below. Or I'd rather you join our Discord. We have a Discord link in the description below so you can join our Discord and ask questions if you have any, or you can just hang out with us, whatever you want to do. So make sure you do that. And then finally, all the code from this episode is going to be in the description below. So make sure you check that out also. In case you forget how to do any of this, there's going to be um, a reference for you, okay, if you bookmark it. So anyway, if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.